Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, usually when it comes to start a project, uh, the main challenge from where we can have uh, uh, the detail or idea or uh, the information about the existing condition and how we can start uh, doing our uh, uh, conceptual design to uh, jump to the uh, concept uh, drawings or even uh, doing the DA application. So uh, one of the good platforms actually to work with is called InfoWork. Uh, and if you are students or educator, you can actually have a free access to it. Uh, the good thing here actually, you just need to download the software. Obviously you need to have your account. So make sure to uh, watch uh, my uh, video about how you can make the account. And after that, just, just jump to that modular builder. Okay, when you go there, you will have uh, an view about uh, what actually uh, uh, that location that you're interested in. Uh, easily, you can jump to whatever the area that you want to do actually your model, okay? Just zoom in. And once you zoom into the uh, certain uh, scale, you can just jump from here and select the area. You know, once you selected the area, you can just give it a name from here, you know, uh, and click here. After that, you know, you can ask the emperor to create the model. Uh, this is might take a couple of minutes, but the good things, uh, since you have registered to your email with Autodesk, so you will get a notification once your model is ready. You know, uh, the point is actually you send your request to the Autodesk Cloud uh, uh, platform. And once your model is ready, you can actually jump here. You will find it like this one in black color. After that, you click on, on, on your model, okay? And you will download it in your uh, in your software. Uh, they give you several options ba based on your um, subscription, okay? So I will click uh, local. And after that, okay, the model will start downloading, okay, in your computer again. Uh, that might take a couple of seconds based on your uh, project uh, size and obviously based on your uh, internet uh, speed and your computer capability. But the good things here that you will have the opportunity to find your model, understand the existing condition with both a visual a perspective and either, okay, the some information related to the site topography, uh, the sun bath, um, even actually uh, jumping to do like a quick uh, conceptual model, or even if you are, uh, for example, using a Revit program to, your, to, your, to do your building, okay, or Archicad or whatever the platform, you will be also able to actually grab or uh, insert all this another platform okay inside this uh, in that inside this one so uh, step by step okay as you can tell okay i mean the the model actually start uh, building okay in, in the project and the good news you will have all these things okay just in couple of minutes okay with all details about the railway stations okay and track uh, the surrounding building obviously here we have actually two views okay the engineering one and conceptual man uh, one. So if you actually have the uh, engineering one, you will be able to see the, the control lines, okay? And how actually they are uh, uh, happening in your site location. You can even read them. In another video, I will show you even how you can find the detail, okay, for, for this one. Uh, the good news even, okay, when it comes to this, okay, like for example, if you're jumping to any specific areas, okay, where you might, interested to add your uh, your model uh there is actually different options here where you can build the things or do that do the, the analysis okay or do some some display so for example if we jump to the uh, terrain theme uh you can add from here okay with the the theme that you're interested in so uh, i usually love this one okay so actually you can understand uh, uh where you have the high point okay uh, well, actually, it's the whitish color, and where we have the low point jumping to like this one, okay, the greenish color. So this is really good sometimes to understand exactly how the things instead from just reading the contour. Uh, apart from that, okay, you might also start 
uh, thinking, understanding, you know, how the sloping happening here, or if you have a low point or high point, okay? Uh, so you can actually jump to this road, convert this to component road, for example. And after that, just go here and ask to see the profile view, okay? So I can understand from this profile view that I have kind of a low point here, okay, at this point. Uh, so you might actually even start analyzing the road based on that, or even, okay, you can start adjust and actually it will reflect here in your, on your projects, okay? So this is really uh, good when it comes to uh, how you can jump or understand uh, like how the things are happening uh, in your uh, in your project, okay? When it comes to like modify it. And obviously, you know, like when you jump to this one, uh, if you click on the uh, cut and fill, you can actually have the uh, the uh, uh, information okay, about the cut and fill for this, for this road. So actually what I have done, I can understand what is the cut and fill happening, okay, in this one, and also I can generate a report for this. So actually your conceptual model go to further details. Um, for example, uh, you might also jump to uh, to create, I mean, the building, okay, or how actually the building might look like, you know. Uh, there is a different way actually to do it in InfraWork, but let's say you jump here and start, you know, you have certain, okay, uh, layout for your building like this. Okay, and as you can tell, actually, the, the, the building understand uh, what's happening in the ground, so you can see, like, how the thing is happening. Okay, so uh, obviously, you might actually change how the building look like, you know, so you can have actually clear understanding. Uh, if you, for example, adding, uh, like, another building next to it, like this, for example, I'll show you something, and make this a little bit higher. Okay, and jump to analyze uh, and go to the sun and sky. So you might actually start understand, okay, what will happen when it comes to the shadow analysis and natural daylighting. Uh, is actually everything clear or not, you know, uh, or what's actually the impact in your in your design. Uh, obviously, if you done your model in other platforms, okay, later, you might jump to the uh, data source, okay, and jump here to add your model, even from the Revit or IFC file or uh, uh, Google SketchUp, uh, Rhino, uh, uh, GraphicSoft, uh, RPCAD, whatever the platform, you can actually still have it here in this in this one. Uh, but still, if you are at conceptual uh, uh, level, okay, I mean, these shifts might actually be uh, way more uh, efficient. Uh, if you jump to the, uh, to the create uh, from the furniture, uh, perspective, uh, you can actually add like more uh, more details about how some stuff actually could happen. So if you are doing a designing home like this in this area, for example, you know you have uh, like kind of uh, a ready home, okay, for you. So actually, we can have those it's like uh, a ready plots, you know, so ready for you to use and uh, utilize easily, okay. Uh, let me just make it. Uh, a little bit wider, okay? Uh, again, if I change this to this conceptual view, you can you understand the thing is way, way better. Uh, obviously, you know, there is different actually shapes, okay, for uh, for the homes, okay, as uh, as you can tell. You know, for, so for example, this is another one here, okay? So can you see this one, okay? Uh, and obviously, you know, any home like you have here, you can actually easily, you know, like rotate it and make it bigger or smaller. Uh, and that's actually one of the biggest uh, 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 like a, uh, uh, advantage from uh, the infra work when it comes to that. See, for example, okay, we can tell that we have problem here in this road after actually we change it, okay? So we might again jump to the profile view, make the, this, this a bit more downstairs can also change from this side. So I can make the water, okay, have anything from that one, okay? You know, so actually you can start, think how, you know, you need, obviously, you know, after that, you need to make sure that you change this road also, to the component road. 
Yeah. So actually, after that, you know, you can change also the end for this, uh, for for this one, okay, or for this for this row. You know, uh, in all cases, uh, like you can uh, start even uh thinking about uh having uh more uh, uh items like uh uh you might uh jump here again. Uh, there is option like having the the coffee shops. Okay, so if you click here in the coffee shop. Actually, just remember that you need just want to click here and you might uh, actually rotate it a little bit because you don't want to be your coffee shop be in the water. Uh, jump here again, okay? So you have like your coffee shop in this side or you might actually even move it to the another side, okay, of the, uh, uh, like here. Just take it from here to this part. After that, you can actually move it like this, okay? And you have actually already coffee shop, okay, for you. Again, you might control the lighting, okay, based on the location, okay, to like make it looks more, more realistic. So actually this is you, okay? Uh, we just have built, okay, in a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, easily, you know, and ready for you to use. Uh, even actually, if you need to make it more realistic, you know, when we speak about uh, visualization, so actually you can add some people here, some people here, okay? Uh, by the way, there is different kind of, and see, actually it takes their uh, uh, their shadow, and, and you know, as a part of this, some people like this here, you know? So, and uh, that actually will make your, your conceptual design looks more realistic than ever. You know, because uh, you not just only uh, analyzing the things, but actually you are building your conceptual design. Obviously, you know, there is more uh, uh, elements of can item here that can actually help you to make the things more realistic. Okay, like for example, we might have this, uh, this is a small shop here. You know, just, you know, to make the things more realistic, okay? Uh, like how the, you know, like, so it makes like more alive one. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, like the city from here, different views. And imagine this is without rendering. So it's actually uh, really rendering, okay, to your, uh, to your model. And you can record it to make a video or actually ask everyone to record that, okay, to make um, your video. Obviously, you know, when it comes to the uh, landscaping item, okay, you might have a lot of options uh, that actually help in that. Uh, if, even if you think about having your construction construction site model, okay, that will be there. Uh, there is also some other item that actually an active item. So uh, so we have actually this like turbine. It is actually big, but I will just show you how it looks like, okay. So the point is actually, the turbine actually it's, it is actually moving okay based on the uh the, the wind okay you don't need this one here obviously but just to show you that your model is not just you know uh, uh a visualized model it's actually have uh, you know like different axes and different perspective for the side and see for example here how the shadow okay for this home is really bad okay so they might actually make you think that uh where it should be you know the the other uh, the other part okay of uh, of the uh, of the uh, the home, you might actually st start thinking about the sustainability perspective, the orientation. Okay, for uh, for this uh, for this one. Um, uh, also, like uh, uh, again, okay, you might jump here. Uh, you will find different uh, options regarding the landscaping when it comes to the trees, the flower. Uh, you jump downstairs. Uh, you will find them. Uh, even if you need another items like gas station, uh, uh, other items, okay. Uh, uh, so here actually there's the huge different options when it comes to the trees, okay. And uh, the good thing is actually all these kind of trees uh, and stuff, uh, they look actually really uh, realistic, you know, to certain extent, okay. So, I mean, which actually also do you understand the shadow for those trees. So when it comes to your designing home, you understand, for example, uh, if we're speaking about uh, Australia contents, okay, and speak about the north uh, facing, so we need to, to make sure that, for example, the trees does not actually uh, have a shadow uh, 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 
or bad impact okay on your design uh the good thing actually about inflow work that you can do it for conceptual data you can actually uh, uh make it uh for uh the detailed design because again as i mentioned okay if you jump to manage okay and uh data source you can you might actually add more other items uh maybe in other videos okay we will jump to different features like uh understanding the uh, underground system understanding how you can make the profiles uh the optimization for the profiles and even to uh do more about the stormwater analysis and stuff like that but this is a good uh, starting point when it comes to how actually you might start your conceptual design uh keep your eyes on my uh youtube channels as more stuff uh, coming soon see you in another video